Hello, hello, hello! You are tuning into the episode of The Wonder Can Show. Today's second topic, Joy Taylor and Speak absolutely sickened me on their topic about Lamar Jackson. Look, you already know. He, the man went out there, played, gave everything he could, gave everything he had, came up short. It's happened to the best of them. I just want to point that out there, okay? So what they've done now is it's become a topic that everyone wants to say, oh, did he deserve the MVP? Is he really is good to have two MVPs? It's not really fair that he has two MVPs. You know what they're saying. Uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to play what Joy Taylor from Speak said. And there's something specifically that she said that bothered me. And I think when you guys hear it, you're going to agree. But it wasn't everything that she said was bad. It was a specific part of what she said irked me. So I'm going to do I'm going to play the audio, and then we're going to break it down, all right? So without further ado, let's get this party started. Brown, Brett Favre, Peyton Manning. He's solidified for the Hall of Fame now. You mentioned it. Jim Brown, Brett Favre, Peyton Manning, Joe Montana, Johnny Unitas, Kurt Warner, Steve Young, all have two MVPs, all in the Hall of Fame. The ones that aren't in the Hall of Fame yet, Tom Brady, Patrick Mahomes, Aaron Rodgers, they will all obviously be in the Hall of Fame. I just want to point out I was the first one to say that. Y'all remember? For everyone watching this, y'all remember when Nitro was saying, hey, yo, if he gets two, he's automatically in the um, he's automatically in the um Canton. And I said he was gonna get it. Just want to point that out there. Let's continue. Along with Lamar Jackson. It's uh, it would be unprecedented for him not to be. And to see a player this far into his career, six seasons in, at the age of, what, 27, have two, two almost unanimous <laughs> MVPs, one certified unanimous MVP, and to take his team to the AFC Championship game after being the one seed this year is really incredible. We give Lamar Jackson, we give him a lot of slack. We're very, very critical of him. We hold him to a very, very high standard. And sometimes I think because we hold him to that standard, because he, he plays the game in such a unique way, the criticisms take away from the greatness that he has actually accomplished, both individually and as a team, because this is his most successful year with his team, taking them to the AFC Championship game, which we know is very, very difficult to do. Part of the reason why Shady and others argue that Patrick Mahomes is a dynasty already is because of the AFC Championship games, yeah. obviously along with the Super Bowls, but that is the second layer of it. It's very hard to get your team there. It's his first time doing it. Two MVPs. He's, he's going to be in the Hall of Fame, and we are watching a really tremendous player, an all-time great player, really just entering his prime, which is really exciting. So I'm, I'm very happy that he was able to not yeah, only get part. this MVP, but also go to the AFC Championship game as the one seed, because I think it really puts him in that other category. Now when we mention Patrick Mahomes, yeah. Joe Burrow, Josh Allen, we have to mention Lamar Jackson. What? Ah! Oh, I don't care that you're pretty. Get oh! your face over here. Hey, yo. So, so all of a sudden now, so all of a sudden, hey, look what she said. She said that this has solidified him going to the Hall of Fame. That's what she just said. But now she says, now when we mention Patrick Mahomes, Joe Burrow, Josh Allen, we have to mention Lamar Jackson. Yeah! Husband, have you no shame? No, no where, hey yo, where's the Game of Thrones people? Shame, 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 shame. Like, yo, are you serious? The only person that she just named that's going to, uh, that's right now in the Hall of Fame is Patrick Mahomes. Joe Burrow is not in the Hall of Fame. Josh Allen is not in the Hall of Fame. You understand? If their careers ended today, boop, there, uh, there goes the daisies. Y'all don't, ho, ho, ho. Y'all don't even give Cam Newton respect. He's been to a Super Bowl. He was an MVP. Uh, he led the league in total touchdowns. And y'all still don't respect that man. So now, Josh Allen, who's never been an MVP, whoo, Tusty. right? He's never led the uh, the NFL in total touchdowns, Tusty. right? He's never, uh, uh, what's it called? He's never been to a Super Bowl. Tusty. He gets respect. Joe Burrow's made it to, three years ago now, made it to the Super Bowl. 
He gets respect. He never been MVP. He never led a league in in touchdowns. Never never did any of this. Never been an MVP. Nothing like that. All pro, no. But he but he gets mentioned before Lamar Jackson. Listen, let me tell you this right now. This is the crap I be talking about. How you have to be above and beyond. And y'all know what I'm talking about. You have to do so much more to get the same recognition. It's ridiculous. Now they're acting like the MVP award is, ah, uh, that, that's a fake award. It's not real. What? Were you saying with a fake award when um, Peyton Manning was winning it? When Tom Brady was winning it? When Aaron Rodgers was winning it? When Patrick Mahomes was winning Now that Lamar Jackson is winning, oh, it's fake. It was always there. He's part of the matrix. I can't with y'all, bro. I, I just can't. It's absolutely asinine. It's it's retarded. It's slow. It, it's 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 ridiculous. It's stupid. He's been past them. Been the man wins almost eighty percent of his games. He's been to an AFC Championship games, a two-time MVP. He's led the league in passing touchdowns. Two-time All-Pro, three-time Pro Bowler. Y'all get that, right? And now all of a sudden, people trying to act like, oh, it, it, it's not special. He's fake. Y'all do realize that people keep receipts, right? They keep receipts. They keep receipts. All the stuff that you're saying, this is why I go as hard as I do. Because I already know that they're waiting. They want him to fail because they love trashy on him. But if Lamar wins, you mark my word, they're going to make excuses. They're going to move the goalposts. They're going to say, oh, yeah, he won, but the other team didn't show up. I mean, he got it, but that, was such, that wasn't a great Super Bowl. That shouldn't even count. You know what I'm saying? There should be an asterisk next to it. I'm telling you guys right now, that is what's going to be special spewed out of the mouths of multiple media people, probably Doug Gottlieb leading the charge. It's going to be people on Twitter saying the same thing. It's going to be ridiculous. Ridiculous. But that's the foolishness that I'm talking about. That's what we're dealing with. Now when we mention Joe Burrow, Josh Allen, and Patrick Mahomes, we have to mention Lamar. What? This man, Joe Burrow's missed more games in four years than Lamar has missed in six. Y'all know that, right? Because he made, had a team, his team went to the Super Bowl once. He didn't even win it. I have a question, and I want y'all to answer this real quick. If the Super Bowl is the end all be all for how we judge these players... So Matthew Stafford is the what? Second best or third best quarterback in the league? Is that what y'all saying right now? <clears throat> I, want, I, want, I'm, I, I, want, I want the truth. So Matthew Stafford is better than Joe Burrow. Matthew Stafford is better than Josh Allen. Matthew Stafford is better than Lamar Jackson. Y'all not going to say that he is. Stop capping! And he's a Super Bowl champion. He's a Super Bowl champion. Man, y'all ridiculous. But what do you guys think? About what Joy Taylor said about Lamar Jackson being now in the same conversation as Joe Burrow, Josh Allen, and Patrick Mahomes. Let me know what you think down in the comments because man, I got a headache from it. I'm dead serious. I am so serious. Matter of fact, y'all know I'm serious. I'm talking about it every time I. Ow! Jesus, man. Man. But as always, that's the episode of the Wonderkind show. <laughs> Thank you for watching. Y'all know how we get down. We have fun and we laugh. But if Matthew, I'm not laughing about this, it'll be pissing me off. <laughs> but yeah, y'all know how we get down. We have fun and we laugh. Hey, if y'all want to donate, help out the channel and stuff like that, bottom of the screen, QR code. QR codes to a cash app. Cash is located in the description of every video that we do. And the name of it is Money Sign, The Wonderkin Show. And also the Patreons there that you can check out the same exact way. All right? So, love you guys. Thanks for watching. But once again, this is the Wonderkin Show. This is your host, Michael, signing off. And as always, you know my slogan. Peace. And I am out of here. Hm. Yerp.